Camaro to take a look at. Just in a unique, especially in classics. 1981 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Hardtop coupe. As you can see, red in color, color code 75, originally a red car also. Interior 75R, which has been red vinyl standard interior. And then with the A51 RPO code added, we have red vinyl bucket seats, and that's the way this car still sits. 5.7 liter V8 underneath the hood, power steering, power brakes, AC. AC does blow cold, ice cold as a matter of fact. Let you take a look at this front fascia. Paint shows well in this car. There are some spots. It does show its age a little bit. Um, and I'll kind of point them out as we go around. Down here, front bumper cover. So there's been a little touch up down here. Looks like it may have had a repaint, a little older one possibly. But at the same time, I mean, you can step back, you can see there's a reflection in the paint. And it's not that it looks bad, it's just there's some areas that do show its age a little bit. If you want to check out the still pictures, you can look, there's probably a hundred pictures of this car online. Top to bottom, inside and out, still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description, it's going to take you right there. Of course, you can always call us too, 507-386-1726. 350 underneath the hood is paired up with a turbo 350 automatic transmission. If I get up on top of this, I can show you what I'm talking about a little bit. You can see, looks like original paint down that center hood sphere. And it's just a little bit thin, and it's kind of the same way over here. It just kind of shows a light hazing, if you will, I guess. But like I said, it's not that it looks terrible would be a nice one to take into your local shows cruise-ins roll-ins riding on the z28 original factory wheels bf goodrich radials take a look up and down the side of this car you know you don't see above the rear wheel wells or behind them really bubbling stuff you'll usually see in the lower doors lower rockers it just doesn't look like there's a bunch of bubbling or rust coming through. A couple just little chips in the paint. The other thing I wanted to show you is we're starting to see this on more and more. These late 70s, early 80s cars. If you take a look, you can see where once upon a time they had the rust inhibitor put in them. That's what those plugs are for after they spray the rust inhibitor. And guess what? You know what appears that that stuff over time has done its job. Because look where lots of times you see them rusting away at. A little bit of surface rust here. But again, it's firm, it's solid, it's not rusted through. You see a little bit of scaling, a little surface rust on the bottom of the car. But again, not completely rusting through or popping or anything like that. It seems to held up pretty well over time. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Slip around to the rear of this. Paint does show its age a little bit right here. Kind of checking. But now if you take a look at this, there's the original unleaded only um, sticker that would have been put on that bumper. That hasn't been painted over, which kind of leads me to believe it would be the original paint in that bumper. Of course, the gas fill. Rear and center, so to speak. It doesn't matter what side of the pump you park on. Once again, still pictures. Take your time, look it over. The other thing I tell people in these videos, we welcome third party inspectors, open door policy for them. If you want somebody else to come put their eyes in this car, touch it, feel it, look it over, feel free to. If you can't make it yourself, we do welcome third party inspectors. And again, those still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. I'm going to take you right there. Let's go ahead and take a look close above the rear wheel wells. Again, you don't see the bubbling. Really any sort of rust issues. Same with the lower rockers, doors, front fenders. Again, there's spots where the paint's just almost like a little thin. I think that could be a sign that 
a lot of this car is original paint possibly it is original miles it's about at 84,000 some um, odd miles you can Carfax in 81 there's no accidents indicated confirms miles appears to be original door panels and even possibly vinyl seats judging kind of by the age and again here we come around to this side see the spots where the rust inhibitor was put in and again look at how good that door sill and everything looks granted you got a little bit of just kind of surface or discoloring there but it's not popping through again it's not a hole jams look pretty good headliner good sorry about the glare there there you go all right as far as the things i went through the only thing i noticed is the horn didn't work wipers worked ac worked radio worked of course you had the cowl induction hood that's how easily that started nice idle to it there's your miles 84871 AM FM cassette, of course shifter on the floor, center console, dash looks good, look at that, the speaker's not even cracked around it, weather check, sun baked, anything like that, looking good on the dash, headliner's up, not sagging, smooth running, 5.7 liter, no doubt about that, slip around to the back so you can hear it. Not smoking. It's a nice idle. Wow, no crazy exhaust, no big cam. Be a fun one to get in and just go. All right, I'm going to pause this a second. It takes a little bit to reach up underneath to get that hood release and hood open on this one. So give me a second. Let's check out that engine bay. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. All right, cowl induction hood. AC compressor again, power steering, power brakes. As you can see and hear, smooth running. Again, 5.7 liter, 350 V8 hood. There you have it, 1981 Chevrolet Camaro Z28, original red on red car, approximately 6% is all of all the Camaros built in 81 were red, not as popular back then as it is now. Give us a call, 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com, click on the link down below this video in the description, it's going to take you right there. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation in this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.